today because it's my day off and I gotta do some other stuff so I'll do the other two another day got the hardware for him oh I got a story for y'all so your boy got the hardware for those center caps right so I get there I go I take one of the wheels because I wanted to get the center caps and the, you know make sure it's the same thread pitch and everything for the screws so I walk into uh, we have an ace hardware here which is like they have all kinds of nuts and bolts and everything that you need so I'm doing that and I bring in the wheels and then two old white dudes stop me. They're like, sir, we don't sell wheels here. I'm like, okay, I'm here to just pick up some uh, bolts for my center caps. He's like, no, you need to go to an automotive store. I'm like, I don't think you understand what kind of screws I need. I think he thinks I was trying to get lug nuts or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so I'm just like, I walk past them. I'm like, okay, yeah, thanks. You know, like, what else am I gonna do? I have to get the seat belts going. So I get to the Ace Hardware by, um, if you're local, it's the TCU one. So I go there. And I'm in the back area where all the bolts are or whatever. And then 
I'm just checking them all out. I'm looking for the bolts and all that. I find what I need, because I, I should have known that I shouldn't have asked for help, because these dudes don't know what they're talking about. And then one of these old men comes back there, and he's like, he's like, do you know, did you find what you needed? But, like, with an attitude. And I'm like, yeah, it's right here. And he's like, oh, okay. Well, you know you have to bag them, right? And I'm like, yeah, I've been here before. He's like, oh, okay. And then he leaves. That shit was annoying as hell. Ugh. So, yeah, that was just my quick rant about those wheels. This is the same day, by the way. Ah, I probably mentioned that already about that I'm doing the three piece. I'm just putting all the stuff back together, but yeah, that's the update on the baby billets, the 15 by 10s. Ah, uh, oh man, do I got another story to tell y'all. So, I was actually supposed to have the 15 by 10s on Like four weeks ago, I had made a deal with a guy who comes to, I work at a tire shop, and this guy saw my wheels whenever he pulled up to get some air, and this man, he's like, yeah, I like your wheels, well, he's, he's speaking Spanish, but yeah, I like your wheels, um, how much do you want for them? I told him a price, and he lowballed the hell out of me. And I was like, first of all, in my head, I was like, first of all, they're not even for sale, so I'm not really in a rush to sell them to you that cheap or whatever. And uh, so then we settled on another price. I was like, okay, I'll go a little bit lower. I went just a little bit lower. He's like, okay, let's do it. So then the next day, uh, the next day, he comes and, well, he messages me. He's like, Hey, they're 15s, right? And I'm like, no, they're 16s. They're an inch bigger. He's like, oh, it's because I'm trying to keep the original look. And I'm like, okay, well, they're 16s. He's like, okay, well, I'm still going to show up just to see how they look if I change my mind. So then he comes or whatever. And uh, I, I had brought the baby billets in the bed of my truck. I was going to leave my truck on, on bricks at my shop that way i can just order the tires for them and then i just bolt them up ready to go because we will get the tires the next day if i wanted and uh guy comes and he starts bullshitting he's like oh they look a lot bigger now and then he's like comparing them to his his stock 15s the 235 70 15s the original ones that come on these trucks and he's like nah i kind of want um the original size just to keep it all original i'm like in my head, I'm like, if you want to keep something all original, buy you some new tires, call it a day. Those are the most, as original as it gets with those original wheels and the stock tire size. Anyway, so he's like, yeah, they're too big for mine because then I'm going to lose gas mileage and then it's going to be hitting. And I'm like, I've never had any issues with any of that stuff, but all right. And then he's like, well, would you give them to me for, he lowballed me again. And I'm like, no, I'm cool. I told him I'm going to stay to my price, and he's like, well, just think about it. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to think about it. I know I'm not going to sell him for that price. And uh, the funny thing is, I know this dude's, like, trying to be a cheap ass because he pulled up to get his air checked in a single cab flare side power window power lock V8 GMC Sierra, like the 03 to 07, right? other seat belt because it's getting a little dark over here at like 5 30 it's pitch black already so we're at 4 30 the light's going away but yeah this guy has that step side and then he pulled up in the obs that he's talking about that's kind of the same color as mine but it's a fleet side and i think it's like a 95 to 98 interior and then the funny thing is actually today he pulls up and uh this man is in a 2015 crew cab Silverado this day. I'm like, bro, you're such a cheap ass, like, in my head. And then he's like, and then he he came to get his, like, he had a flat or something like that. 
Homeboy comes in and he's like, he comes up to me like, oh, like we're cool. And I'm like, I mean, I'm not mad at him. Everybody's trying to get a deal or whatever. But I see it's La Raza, no? Like they're always trying to fuck over each other. Probably get demonetized for that, but it's true. And, uh, yeah, like he's like, oh, well, have you thought about the price I gave you? Like while he's getting ready to get his truck worked on, I'm like, Mm, not really he's like well what do you think and i'm like i think i'm not gonna sell him for that price and he's like oh okay like he ah oh, i forgot to say what really pissed me off in my head was when he originally was trying to get them and i was ready to leave my truck on bricks he uh he's like like well he said in spanish i only know how to understand it in spanish not really repeat it back to somebody but he's like, basically like are you in a, like are you in a hurry to get some money is that because i can give you that low ass low ball ass offer right now i'm like no i'm not even in a hurry I'm, they weren't even for sale you're the one that wanted them but yeah moral of the story is don't be a cheap ass like me for this three-piece window um i got quoted i thought it was a good price He's to take mine off and then put that three piece on. He quoted me like, well, my uncle asked him for me and he said like a hundred bucks. I was like, perfect, that's totally fine. That was like a month ago though. And I called the guy yesterday and I'm like, um, you know, this is, my uncle referred me to you, uh, how much to do this? He's like, oh, 110. I'm like, that's fine. Like it's 10 bucks, like I don't care. But you see what I mean? Like, I hate when people are like that. Like, oh no, I'm gonna give you this price, especially if you're even struggling. Like, if I was struggling, he would have just like, he would have just lowballed me like that. Like, they're not a bad set of wheels or tires. Like, I don't know. That's my rant for the day. That I had to update y'all on this whole OBS build because it's not all just parts installs. A bunch of people with some booze. So, 